Amazing film. Amazing film. Um, Widows has a lot of female empowerment. Can you talk to me about how that uh, kind of plays into contemporary times? Um, well, it, it was it was very strange for me that when we originally um, Steve came to me and said I'm interested in adapting Linda Laplante's Widows into a film, that when we started to talk in in various film circles about this idea, people were like, "Oh, that's such a new idea. That's such a fresh idea." But it was this was you know in the 2012, 2013, and the, the original TV show was made in, in 80s, 83. Right. right. So we, we, I just sort of felt that from a, from a contemporary perspective, not only did the film have to get made and Steve was a wonderful person to tell the story, but also that we couldn't keep on having it being a, a, a sort of new idea right. that a, a group of women could lead a crime thriller um, in, in you know, uh, 2018. It seemed crazy to me. The film take, takes place in Chicago, obviously. Uh, the 18th Ward more specifically. How much research went into the 18th Ward and Chicago? Because it feels like its own character to an extent. Yeah, we really had to find a particular ward within Chicago that, that would act as sort of a metaphor for all of the, the dynamics within all the different characters. And, and we felt that historically that one uh, made most sense in terms of the characters and their history and, um, and their economic status. So we really did work very hard to try and work out exactly um, what would be the perfect place. But it is, it, it, it is a metaphor, really, in sure. a way, for, for any city or, or around the world. But it, it's, um, it, it was very particular in terms of giving us everything we needed to be able to tell the story we wanted to tell. So uh, Steve, yourself, and Gillian are like the perfect combination to make a film. Uh, can you talk to me about how Gillian and Steve kind of uh, met up and, and how that uh, fostered the, the, the screenwriting process? Sure, so you know, just the concept of Steve McQueen and, and Gillian working together was, was an incredible thrill as a it's producer. Amazing. It was like, this is fantastic. So um, I did manage to come along to their first meeting and it was in Chicago and I remember um, both of them sat there sort of looking at the skyline, some newspapers in front of us about what was going on in the city. And uh, it, was, it just it had to be Chicago. And, and I think the city just lends itself to all of the storylines that we did. Um, and in terms of their process, uh, it's a real, um, Steve describes it as, as two great guitar players from a band working together, you know, that they're separate, they have different moments where they come in and out, but, sure. but overall it's best when they're playing together. And I think, I think that's, that's how it really worked. It was a, a scripts going back and forth, literally across the ocean and, and, um, and, a, and a lot of fun. But it was a, it was a big, uh, it was a very sort of strong idea that it was a film. We are taking the idea of the TV series, but we were making a film. So we, we had to make some choices. So um, with, with the script being so in-depth and all the characters so fleshed out um, and all the scenes brilliant, was there any scene in particular where you knew was gonna be a particular challenge for you? Um, I think that we knew that it was gonna be a challenge, um, I guess in some ways it was gonna be an interesting process to do what may be conceived as a traditional action sequence right. with a Steve McQueen film. So uh, it was, a, it was a, a super fun uh, journey for Steve and I, and we, we worked with some incredible stunt people who were artists themselves. And I think that's what we realized is that with the stunts and, and the first uh, 10 minutes of the film, uh, that you don't, as a filmmaker, you don't have to be scared of that process if you find the right collaborators with it. And, and we really did there.